Hi and welcome to Change Your Body Boot Camps 2015 Challenge Week. This is Phase 9, Challenge Workout Number 3. We have Coach Marissa here. She's going to be doing the workout. I'm going to be coaching you just to have a change of pace so I can focus on some technique while she does the workout. Now, today is Challenge Workout 3. You're going to complete the A and B circuit as fast as possible. The A circuit is three rounds of the dumbbell complex. The B circuit is the full upward pyramid. There are five rounds or five sets per exercise. We'll have a slight pause in between the A and B circuit so that I can talk to you a little bit, but other than that, it is running time. Now, Marissa has eight pound dumbbells. The dumbbell load percentage I recommend for you is gonna be 30 to 50% body weight. You need a mat a roller, a towel, and chairs if you're going to do elevated push-ups instead of pike push-ups. Now Marissa can't do the feet elevated pike push-ups today, so I'll show those as a demonstration when we get there. Otherwise, let's just go. Marissa, you ready? Set. Go. Clean pull. Good. Hang power clean. Good. Good. Do that one again. Okay. Elbows close. Front squat. Push the floor open. Stand tall. Squeeze your butt. Two. Stand tall, squeeze your butt. Three, good. Reverse lunge, hands by your side. Left leg first. Great step together, Marissa. Good, you got your head packed. Get your ribs down. Right leg, do it. Okay, weights down. Left arm. Now, for the rest today, you're going to do alternating exercises. So first she's going to do 10 per side alternating wrist flexion stretch. This way instead of everybody counting Mississippi's or using a timer you can do 10 pulls each arm and that'll make it more competitive without having to uh, cheat the time so to speak if you were counting. As she does 10 each side, she's going to lie on her back. She's going to do dead bugs opposites with an isometric hold. She's got her chin tucked, her low back's flat. She's going to go left foot, right hand. She's touching the ground. She's exhaling as she reaches. She's inhaling as she comes together. She's going to do 10 per side. Okay, now she's going to do quadruped opposite, 10 per side. She's going to do 10 all on one side. Let's go all one side and then the other. Heads push back. Full scapular push. So push away with that left arm. Reach as long as you can with your left leg. Reach straight back. Palm up with your left hand. Reach as long as you can. Try to touch your heel to the back wall. This works on rotary stability. 
rotary stability is important to reduce energy leaks when you're ambulating, when you're running, when you're playing sports, when you're walking. All right, round two. So she's going to do one rep of the level one ground zero hang jump shrug, and then two reps of the full jump. Hang clean, full, neutral grip. Yep, finish on your toes. Hang power clean. Elbows closed. Stand tall. Okay, elbows closed. Keep them up. Elbows closed. Good, nice. Push the floor open. Stand tall. Squeeze your butt. Good. Hands by your side. First lunges. Weights down, alternate wrist pull. Did you know, did you know Marissa is a fifth degree black belt? That's badass. That's like tremendous discipline. You can't just go buy a black belt. I mean, you could get a leather one in the store. Dead one to mercy. So the dead bugs work on pelvic control. So it's the pelvic control pieces. Marissa has to keep her low back pressed flat into the floor and her chin tucked while she's reaching extremities. So she has to keep her abs braced, pulling her ribs down and pulling her pubic bone up. It then works on motor control and motor coordination by doing opposite extremities. It's very confusing when your hands crisscross to do opposites. She has to control it, touch the ground, and then come back up. It's great. It's a great ab exercise. Even though it's more of a, a functional exercise, this helps with Help control the motor coordination, training you in a in a very easy position to to work on core isolation. So it'll carry over to when you're moving, when you're running, when you're walking, when you're playing sports. The ability to keep pelvic control, to hold your ribs down and your pubic bone uh, tilted up while you move. Longer with the back leg works. Less up and reach back more with the arm, with the leg, sorry. The arm reach longer so it finishes in line with your ear. Okay, last round. Neutral grip. Level one is ground zero, meaning we should have to take the ground. Left the ground up. There you go. Great. Hang clean pull. Finish on your toes. Don't leave the ground. Good. Hang power clean. Elbows closed. Stand tall. Then reset. Okay. Front squat. Reverse lunge, left leg. Shoulders back. Heads back. You're looking real strong, Marissa. That's a good sweat. Have a good day today. Okay, weights down. Wrist pulls. Okay, as soon as she finishes these next three exercises, she moves on to the pyramid. So the hands get tight from gripping, but the gripping is important because it's going to help you with grip strength. 
which will carry over to when we do chin-ups, pull-ups, uh, alternate grip pull-ups, neutral grip pull-ups. Holding the dumbbells for a long period of time also works on time under tension. Yes. Dead bugs are next. The longer the time under tension, the more muscularly fatiguing, muscularly demanding, and calorically expensive the, the work is. That's important because the greater the time under tension, the more hypertrophy you can, you can achieve. Hypertrophy is another way of saying uh, muscle pump or shape in your muscles, curves. And then the greater the time under tension, the more body fat you can, uh, you can burn. So you can decrease your body fat and improve your body composition. That doesn't work so much in the moment as it works after as your body's trying to recover from uh, the workout in the long time under tension set. So basically, hold as much weight as possible for as long as possible, and that'll be very demanding. Okay, well done Marissa. She's at 10 and a half minutes. Now, next she's going to do the upward pyramid. We're going to replace the burpee 5105 with a burpee to stand. She'll do increments of three, so three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. For the feet elevated pike push-ups, one, two, three, four, five. For the body saw to a pike, two, four, six, eight, ten. And instead of chin-ups, she's going to do pullovers. Two, four, six, eight, ten per side. All right, Marissa, you ready? <coughs> burpee to stand is first. There's going to be one level. You're going to do a burpee to, to high plank and then stand. Go for it. Two, two. Yep. Arms overhead when you finish. Three reps. One more. Good. Okay, push ups. So she's going to do feet elevated pike push ups. Each round will add a level. So round one, she's going to do the level ones. There's four levels for level one, A, B, C, and D. High end climb, she'll do one rep. Go for it, Marissa. Good, press to a scap the push up. Okay. Low end climb, which is B. Tuck your elbows, pull your shoulders down as you go. Full scap the push up. Great. Floor, which is C. And then feet elevated, which is D. Now you only have to do one rep, she's done four. Okay, move on. All right, next, body sock to pike. Level one is forearms and feet. She's gonna do two. Now Marissa has a microfiber towel, so when you work in the gym, you can be her partner and share her towel. That thing is excellent. It slides even if the ground is humid. Good, Marissa. All right, pullovers. Level one is a bent arm pullover. She's going to touch the floor, pull her elbows to her ribs. Good. Two reps. Great. Okay, burpee to stand, six reps.
Ray Charles in one. Get it? Get it? Two. All right. Next, body saw, hands and feet. elevated pipe push-ups. Do whatever level is best for you. Good scapular. Right. 
Mali South Pike. Okay, it's four rounds complete, last round. This is the money round, Marissa. Okay. 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, yes, 15 burgers. Body soft pipes.
time. 2346. Complete challenge workout number three, Marissa. Well done. That was badass performance. Good luck. Post your results on Facebook. Good luck.